This is a pizza tray from Walmart. It was, I think, 88 cents. Very good palette. It works really well. I always wanted to be an artist. I actually studied drawing and printmaking at UC Santa Cruz. And then when I got out of school, decided to do my own thing. That's when murals just fell into my lap, when I stopped caring, I guess, when I was just not trying as hard. I can go from improvising the entire composition to very refined sketches and doing a grid on the wall. So for this mural, I did a grid. I just plotted random points and then superimposed the sketch of the mural onto the photo of the grid on my iPad. Since I've moved to Detroit, I've fallen in love with Detroit Techno. It's also like the, the consistent beat is a nice, nice pace to work at. You know, you quiet the mind and you just let your hands do the work. Music does that for me, definitely. My Chinese background actually influences my work a lot. That's one of the main reasons why I paint peonies all the time is because they're so important in Chinese culture and they also are depicted a lot in, in the art. I talked to Cody, the horticulturalist here. He pointed me to different wildflowers and native flowers that are important to Northwest Arkansas. And so I thought that was a really good theme to go with. The background color is called Midnight Navy. And I thought that was cool because it's featuring night blooming flowers, which will be attracting sphinx moths. Cody suggested that, and I also love it because it has pink in its coloring and I think that'll look really nice. I'm really inspired by primary colors and also their use in religious art, mostly like Eastern religions. They use a lot of hot colors. It's very vibrational. This is my signature dry brush technique. It's my secret weapon, but it's not so secret because you can tell um, what I'm doing. You get paint on the brush, but then you try to get it as thin as possible and sort of dry so that you get all of the brush strokes um, and then the bristles also, the bristles separate when you put it down so you can see all of the tech, the line work. It's not the brush that makes the artist, it's the artist that can paint with anything. If push comes to shove, I will make art with a twig and leaf. <laughs>